Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Nitro 17, AN1751. If you want to see the internals of this device, you have to undo 11 Phillips head screws. Then, you can pry the bottom panel with a plastic tool, or you can pop up the plate by carefully raising it while holding firmly the two plastic exhaust vents on the back. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery here is the optional 90 watt hour unit. The base one has a capacity of 57 watt hours. The capacity is enough for 9 hours and 5 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 20 minutes of video playback. Actually, this is a very good result for a gaming laptop with a 1440p screen and a thirsty Raptor Lake H CPU. Just don't forget to select the Optimus mode in the BIOS. The battery isn't fixed to the base with screws because there is a dedicated socket for it on the inside of the bottom plate that is keeping the battery in place. Memory-wise, there are two SODIMs for up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 4800 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. For storage, you get two M.2 slots compatible with Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe is additionally cooled by a thermal pad. The cooling is massive. It comprises two fans, two heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU, one additional pipe for the processor, and two more for the video card. We can also see two big cooling plates and four heat sinks. 